वेस्टर्न यूरोप शवर्स ऑल इयर राउंड थ्रू द ईयर थ्रू द ईयर शवर्स आर देयर रेनफॉल इज देयर यू नो द वेस्टर लीज सो दीज वेस्टर लीज ब्रिंग्स द माइचर सिस दे ब्लो ओवर द ओशियन टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्थ एंड द वेस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ द यूरोप सो इट कॉजेस वेस्टर्लीस कॉजेस रेनफॉल थ्रू आउट द ईयर टू द वेस्टर्न यूरोप एंड द शवर्स जनरली इन अवर इंडिया ईगरली वी विल वेट फॉर द cool showers but here the europeans of western area they will wait for the sunny days warm days and the western europe also another benefit also with the help of the gulf stream with the help of the gulf stream you know the gulf stream due to the warm conditions of the water of the gulf stream this warm water helps to the fish breed so ice these gulf stream contain the food for the fish so the fish industry is developed in the north sea in the north sea near the britain so the area the port in the north sea at which the fish industry is developed is called the dogger bank what is that dogger bank so generally the fishes are the main food for the europeans as well as the industry the fishing industry also very important in the northern european countries so the gulf stream helps and the westerlies helps for the north and the western europeans next mediterranean climate in southern europe generally on the south of europe there is a sea that is the mediterranean sea so there is a different climate conditions or there is a different climatic condition is there the places near the mediterranean sea it means the southernmost countries of the europe which have the distinct climate that climate is called mediterranean climate so what is the speciality of that mediterranean climate generally due to the westerlies the western parts and the northern parts gets rainfall throughout the year but this region does not get the rainfall throughout the year because the westerlies blow over the mediterranean sea they blow over the mediterranean sea in the winter only so as the westerlies blow in the winter so in winter season only this region this southern countries of the europe gets rainfall and warm summers so what is the mediterranean climate the mediterranean climate has the winter rains and warm summers this type of climate is called mediterranean climate so this mediterranean climate is not only in mediterranean region in other continents also this type of climate is there and these climate is very useful for the growing of the juicy fruits like the olives oranges grapes so this fruit industry is developed in these regions and you 
the fruits are extensively grown in the southernmost countries of the europe and in the europe continent they have the four seasons you know in india we have the three seasons summer winter and rainy season but here in europe they have the four seasons that is the winter spring summer autumn and so many changes are taking place throughout these seasons here generally the winter begins with the november and the places especially the lands and the mountains receives more snowfall and the mountains receive more rain for more snowfall than the lands and the days are very short sun rises at 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning and sets 4 o'clock afternoon so the days are very short here and the broad leaved trees they begins to shed their leaves and the entire winter we can see the leafless trees in this season but the second one is the spring season it begins with the march and the days will become longer and nights will become shorter and in this season in this season we can see the new shoots will come out of the trees and we can see the colorful flowers blooms everywhere in the season and we can see the green grass and the greeny leaves green trees we observe in this spring season in this season especially the farmers plow their lands and sowing is done in this season the major crops are grown the major crops are grown in europe are the wheat what is that wheat and barley oats sweet root sweet roots etc these are the major crops are grown in europe and when we go to the summer the summer begins with the june and august the days will become longer the days will become longer how much longer they were the sun rises the sun rises in the early morning 4 o'clock and sets at 8 o'clock in the evening or the night so the sun rises at 4 o'clock and sets at 8 o'clock days are very longer and we can see some of the places in northern european countries especially the norway and sweden they are called as the lands of midnight sun they are called as the lands of midnight sun even though the days are very longer they were not much warmer they are not very they are not very much warmer because the sun does not go above the horizon sun does not go above the horizon which is the horizon horizon is a line horizon is a line on which line it seem like the sky and earth meet it seems like the earth and land meets at this line that line is called the horizon so sun doesn't go doesn't rise above that line so sun is not rising up more than this horizon line so the temperature is low 
it is not very hot so this is about the summer the summer season is also important season of agriculture summer season is the agricultural season in the europe generally the crops were grown the crops are grown and at the end of the summer season the crops will be harvested crops will be harvested and here we can see in india we have the 8 to 10 months cultivation period throughout the year but here 6 to 7 months cultivation period is there like france and other countries here in the autumn in the september and october again the season is changed and here the main feature of this autumn we can see here the trees leaves turn red and yellow and they begins to fall they begins to fall and they will become leafless trees in this autumn season and agriculture activities were stopped in this season and they hay cut and dried for the feeding of the farm animals and also the fruits especially the grapes are plucked and used for making of the wine and other types of juices and jams and they preserved in the various methods okay land and agriculture in the europe generally they have the plains and valleys in the europe they are very fertile and there is no need of the irrigation also because the rivers never dry up throughout the year because they get rainfall almost most of the countries they get rainfall they get showers throughout the year because of them there is no need of irrigation but there is a problem most of the countries they are mountainous as they have as they are mountainous they have the not sufficient land for the cultivation for example the norway it has only 3% of the land for the cultivation norway i and to take the uh, england for example england it has the 30% of the land for the cultivation and germany it has the 40% of land for the cultivation is available for example in our india 55% 55% of the land is available in india for the cultivation but the land scarcity is more for the agriculture in the europe continent especially there is acute shortage in holland dutch holland means dutch generally the dutch people reclaim the some portion of the land from the sea they are building they are building the embankments they are building the embankments these embankments are called the dikes like the walls for stopping the water to get the land for the cultivation and these reclaimed lands are called the polder the reclaimed land is called polder and the embankments are called dikes dikes polder what is dike the embankments are built near the see to stop the water to get the small portions of land for the culture so the eastern and the northern european continent regions have no agriculture in the winter as they are covered by the snow in the winter there is no chance for the cultivation of that lands generally they are growing only one crop in the north and 
Eastern Europe and in the south, the south region of the Europe, the southern part of the Europe, they are growing the two crops per year. Generally in the spring season, the ice melts and the sowing is done in the spring season and the crop is ripened in the summer and the crop is harvested in the autumn season. Finally, they are growing only one crop in the east and north region. And this in the south region, ice, the south region is very nearer to the Mediterranean Sea. And these places are not called by the snow. So they are growing the two crops per year. Especially in the southern countries of the Europe, they have the fruit cultivation. In the fruit cultivation, they are growing the juicy fruits like the olive, grapes and oranges like that. And also wheat is the major crop in the Europe. Especially the wheat is grown in the Russia, I mean Ukraine, and France and other countries here. And the other major crops in the Europe are the barley, oats, rind and sugar beet and potato. Especially sugar is made, sugar is made of the sugar beet and this is done in the Russia, Ukraine and Germany. Agricultural Revolution in olden days, in Europe continent also like our India, there were small farmers and land farm and landlords were there. But it has changed. Now only a few people are doing agriculture here. And that people also they are using the machines and chemical fertilizers and high yielding varieties of seeds. By using the fertilizers and pesticides, they are getting the good profits. And they are producing, they are cultivating for the sale only, but not their own purpose here. So, agriculture is industrialized, like an industry commercialized. Agriculture is commercialized here. And the large landowners and capitalists entered into the agriculture. And they took, they took over the lands from the small farmers who migrated to the towns and the cities to work in the industrial sector. So, this is the agricultural revolution, mechanized. And mechanized agriculture is called using the new technology in the agriculture, is called as the agricultural revolution, took place in Europe. The European farms today. How are the European farms today? They have the large farms and they build their houses in the large farms. They build the farm houses. In that farm houses, they have the so many facilities. These are very large and the separate sheds for the cattle and for the poultry and for the pigs and separate godowns for preserving the produce and also the big farmers generally they are hiring the laborers they are hiring the laborers and they are using the new technology in the agriculture especially they are using the machinery like the tractors and the harvesting machines etc and sometimes they hire from the cooperative societies also. They hail the type of missionary from the cooperative society also. And here under the agriculture revolution, the large holdings and mechanized farming. Large holdings and mechanized farming. These are the very important things. Under the large holdings, generally the large holdings are increased to 50 to 100 acres, 50 to 100 acres in size. Land holdings are 50 to 100 
acres in size and with the help of that large holdings they are using the agriculture machinery easily and they get the more profits from that and mechanized farming the machineries agricultural machineries agriculture technologies also used in the european countries in the cultivation and they build their houses with the all amenities they have the all facilities and about 50 years ago they baked their food at home but now they they are selling their total product in the market and they are buying the food from the outside market nearby cities and towns especially they have the different types of cakes and breads and especially the meat meat is the important part of the french diet important part of the french diet so generally the meat they obtain the meat from the cattle pig and the poultry and this meat is preserved by the process of smoking and the freezing and drying and also they have the cellars to preserve the meat and the cheese of course today nowadays they are using the cold storage also for preserving the meat and the cheese so meat is the important part of their diet and they are using the modern agriculture under the modern agriculture the most of the people working in the industrial and service sector service sectors like that banking and in the internet and other organized sectors but a very few people are working in the agriculture sector so the government is also helping the persons who are cultivating the lands because as they are getting less profits when we compare to the other works in the europe of course they are getting the good profits even though when we compare to the other works they are getting less due to that government is giving the so many subsidies to increase them and agriculture became as the commercial enterprise so in the europe agriculture became the commercial enterprise like an industry the discovery of sea routes you know the all the countries all the parts of the europe they have the coastal areas and they have been living in the coastal areas for the hundreds of years so they have the experience about the sea travel and they have the skill and the courageous sailors actually the skilled in building of the ships and boats initially these ships and boats were used for fishing only and after they were used for the international trading they had the trade relationship with asian countries like india indonesia china etc and they took away the cotton silk cloth spices ivory from asian countries spices such as the cloves cinnamon like that and in exchanging in exchanging they gave the gold and silver they gave the gold and silver to the asian countries 
so how they reached how they reached india so they had the two routes to reach the india in those times one is the land route and another one is the sea route you can see here the land route they had the land route via middle east middle east and afghanistan etc they would reach the they would reach the india the another is via red sea and arabian sea the first route is here the second route is here the first route is via middle east and the second route is via red sea and arabian sea of course there is a route from the mediterranean sea but the italian merchants did not allow the others did not allow the others for the 500 years ago they wanted to serve the new routes new sea routes to india because the arabs are ruling here in their first routes so there were some wars with the arabs europeans quarreled with the arabs due to that they did not allow them through these routes so the europeans especially the western european countries like spain portugal they try to discover the new sea routes to india and other countries the first the italian sailor christopher columbus christopher columbus he thought that earth is not flat earth is round and he thought that they would reach they would reach india if they would move towards the west by crossing the atlantic sea okay the christopher columbus set out with the three ships and after three months he reached the islands near the america first he thought that it was india but finally he realized that it is not india india is far from that place india is far from that place so they named as the west indies they named the islands which are near to the east coast of the america they named as the west indies and after that they discovered so many sea routes for australia and for other countries okay finally the christopher columbus discovered a sea route to america in the earlier period the europeans did not know about the american continent america so after after the discovery of columbus the millions of people migrated from the europe towards the america and they traded and settled there and they traveled over the sea with the help of the winds they traveled from the western europe to america with the help of the winds these are not westerlies these are other winds due to the wind force with the help of the wind force they traveled easily from the western european to east coast of the america and here there is another winds so these winds are moving opposite throughout the year and they traveled from this place to this place and this place to this place through these winds so the winds which helped them 
to travel from the Europe to America. These are called the trade winds. Trade winds. Because they used that winds for their trade. For traveling. For the trade. They traveled for the trade. So they are called as the trade winds.